Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my fourth grade class. Hello, if you're new to my channel, my name is Marielle Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is day two of classroom setup. It is Friday, August 11th, 2023. And last night I went to Lakeshore so that I could buy more better than paper bulletin board paper so I can finish off this wall behind me. So I'm doing a Minecraft theme this year. So this is a better than paper boxwood paper that is really nice because if you look over here it kind of looks like it's real and i have the window the minecraft window poster here i built these bar height tables yesterday and i'm gonna put a bookshelf there but the one that i put there yesterday completely fell apart so i have it outside so they can discard of it and i'm going to put paper down here to cover all that up because there's a lot of scuffs and i used to have my bookshelves here so it'll cover that but I'm not having a classroom library this year. So this is gonna be a flexible seating area for students that I'm really looking forward to implementing this year. And I have all the twinkle lights around, so it looks really neat. So this is the paper that I will be using for that bottom part. They didn't have this other paper that I was starting to use because this is leftover paper that I have from when I did this whole entire back wall covered it in that better than paper stone looking or cobblestone looking paper I didn't have enough and since I bought this so long ago they did not have that design that I could find so I have this one which is like a brick kind of looking paper but we can also say that it's kind of like cobblestone let's just call it that since we're doing a whole Minecraft theme so that's what I'm going to work on today um, I'm taking a little break because I have been here for the past um, two hours, but I have been getting things ready. I also have other things that I need to take from the car and just trying to get everything set up. So right now what I was working on and I'm going to take a break from is I also went to Lakeshore to find some letters to display on this top bulletin board over here, this header bulletin board that I'm going to show you and they didn't have that simple font that i was looking for so i ended up just making my own so this is the header bulletin board that i am talking about that i want to display a little message this is what i decided to do i just created it on powerpoint printed it on yellow cardstock paper i'm not going to laminate them because if not the reflection is probably going to cover what it says or what the letters are um, or maybe not. I don't know. I'm just not going to laminate it. So basically it says mind crafting in progress. So that's what's going to go above that bulletin board right there. But I am taking a little break from that because I have to manually cut them. Yes, I wish I had a Cricut. I don't have a Cricut. So that is definitely on a wish list somewhere. Uh, a personal wish list. Uh, I will eventually get one. I know it's been so many years since they've been out, but I'm going to take a break from cutting those letters and just focus on getting the paper up here on this wall. Hi everyone. So I haven't been the best vlogger today for day two, and I haven't been able to do any time lapses because of different things that have been happening today, but I did finish putting that paper up. And I did get the chairs from my brother and brought them up, but I'm gonna show you something that needs to change. But first, here's the paper. Check out how it looks. It's very nice. I went ahead and I got the other bookshelf here since the other one that I showed on day one was all broken up. So this one pretty looks pretty much looks the same. So it's right here. By the way, the bottle is not on right now, but for some reason, the light is, and the camera is making it look like it's on. But um, anywho, uh, these are the chairs. The only problem is that they're too high for this bar height table size. So I did order four stools from Amazon that will be delivered to my house tomorrow and I'll build them tomorrow at home. And they kind of match the top of this. They're round stools, they don't have a back, but hey, they can be tucked down here and the students will be able to use it. 
So this is how this corner is looking right now. And my mom is here, my son is here. They've been helping me for the past two hours. They brought the little topiaries back into my classroom. I've had them at home for the past couple of years. And the room is still as it is. If anything, it's even more messy in my opinion. But I started to take more things down. They might open school tomorrow. And if they do, I'll come in for a few hours and I'll continue to take all those things down and put the books on the side since I am storing my books for this school year outside of the school. So yeah, not all of them. I will be keeping some of the picture books and chapter books that are approved and I can use with my students. But for the most part, we're not gonna have a classroom library. Uh, the books that I will keep are gonna be for my own personal teacher library or for any class sets for novels that we are reading. All right, so that is practically, yeah, eh, all that I have to share for today, day two. I know, very short video today, but that's what we're dealing with. And I still have to change these two bulletin boards that are right here, change the paper on this one and change the border for both, change the border for that one, reveal that one there, change the border for that one. I have other things that are gonna go on that one. Hi, mom. Hi, Hi Jenna. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much where we at right now. They just made the announcement and they're kicking us out. I did find one spot for one of my Minecraft torches and mom said that I should definitely put the other one on the other side. So here it is. And they actually do turn on like I showed you. And the other one, I would put a nail or maybe even if this one is on the same, you know, direction or distance from the board, I'll do that one. So it'll be right there. So that is all that I have to share for today. Oh, the other thing that we did, mom brought all the containers back from home and her and Jonathan put them together and she put them all here looking very nicely. So that's great for storage. All right, now that is all that I have to share for today. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting setup getting this classroom put together. Uh, my biggest class has currently 25 students and I luckily got a hold of two extra desks but I don't have enough chairs. So I, I'm going to send another email to our assistant principal to make sure that we get those for the first day. So that's all that I have to share for today, like I mentioned. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.